hello everyone so in our last video we have seen the problem the problem is we need to master all these technologies and we need to remember all these classes and we need to remember all the methods and the ways to implement it and we need to identify the scenario then go for that particular approach and the solution to this should be single that is nothing but i should unify all these technologies like msmq named pipes web services and remoting and i should give a single solution for any kind of scenario yes that means what do we need to do we need to unify programming model for writing distributed application something like this single solution so that is nothing but your wcf wcf stands for windows communication foundation is the unified programming model for writing distributed applications on your microsoft platform windows communication foundation is an sdk software development kit for developing and deploying services on windows and here the namespace is system dot service model this contains all the classes that are required to work with wcf and it is available in the dll system dot service model dot dll so that is the assembly system dot service model dot dll and this is the namespace let us uh, try to understand service library and service application now what is the difference between service library and service application let us see that uh, so you will find this logo or this symbol this icon whenever you want to create wcf service library now service library contains interfaces and classes that's it it contains interfaces and classes so i create wcf service library and i add interfaces and classes in service library so whenever i create a service library project it means that i will have interfaces and classes next is service application service application is nothing but a host you can say web host so these dlls i will move it to this host and this host will also have some web config information that means if somebody wants to interact with this service so they should interact via this service host so they should have some information of interaction so that information is nothing but your endpoints which is available in your web.config file so service application will have information about the endpoints in web.config file mostly so this is your wcf service application and that is your wcf service library so hope you might have understood the difference between service library and service application and we have already seen the implementation of this in our earlier videos now the basic component of your wcf service is nothing but endpoints what are endpoints so say for example i have created the service and i have created the service host and i have added that in the host and i have hosted it that means it is available on the web server my service is available on the web server now a client wants to interact with this service so whenever a client wants to interact with the service they should know three things that is nothing but a b c a stands for address b stands for binding c stands for contract when we combine this address binding and contract then we name it as an endpoint so service will have an endpoint with the help of that endpoint a client will interact so first of all client should know where the service is available so that is nothing but your address now what kind of interaction they want to perform that is nothing but binding so whether they want to interact over http whether they want to interact over tcp whether they want to interact via named pipes or msmq so they should tell what way they want to interact so that is nothing but your binding b stands for binding finally c stands for contract that means what is that they can communicate that means a stand for address 
where b stands for binding how c stands for contract what so where how and what from where they want to communicate and how do they want to communicate contracts tells what they want to communicate so endpoints are also called as abcs of the service for the client to communicate meaningful information to the service it should need to know the abcs a stands for address for example this is what where from where they get it b stands for binding so whether it is an http binding or tcp binding or named pipe or msmq finally c stands for contracts that is nothing but interfaces and methods so interface says what is the information that they want what is the information that service is sharing that is available in the interface so interface is nothing but contract here so this is your endpoint so let us see the implementation of this endpoint practically in our next video Thank you very much.